They are the number one seed in the bottom right corner against Burlington. Greenfield will be taking on Westosha Central. Waukesha West is the three seed. They will see Wauwatosa West. And the Southern Lakes Conference champs Badger, they will be the second seed against Elkhorn. All right, let's take a look at the full picture here, the full Division II bracket. Travis, taking a look here, a couple of the undefeated teams. What are your thoughts? Specifically, let's start out with Kettle Marine and Wanakee. Well, Kettle Marine, I got a chance to see last night in the rain, take down <laughs> Muskego in a de facto Classic 8 Conference Championship game. They're the defending state champions in Division II, they won the best conference in the state. You know they're legit. You know that they are, again, a threat to come out of Division II. But Division II is very, very strong overall. Wanakee is always going to be there, except for last year when they were up in Division I. Mm -hmm. But they are back into Division II this year. Um, so you've got some very good undefeated teams. Badger is undefeated in Division II as well. Sun Prairie East, who we were trying to connect with, Coach Kaminsky, uh, looking good as well. It was interesting to note where the, the cut line came in for the, the cut line between Division I in Division II, Sun Prairie East ends up as the largest Division II school. Next was Badger, after that was Wanakee. Three of the top teams in that division. Very easily, if things went different, could have ended up in Division I. That's always an interesting and fun part of this process is figuring out who ends up where, because that certainly can change who wins state championships. Um, but very strong groups in Division II. Have to mention Kaukauna as well. They won the FVA conference title, they beat Kimberly the defending Division I state champions. So really strong group in Division II, really looking forward to it. Um, Kettle Moraine, Badger, maybe down the road, but keep an eye on Waukesha West as well. They knocked off McGuanago last night. Waukesha West and Badger in level two would be a great game. Can we bring up that full screen graphic again and just look at Sun Prairie East? We are, we are gonna talk to them, but maybe we can just look at their road to Camp Randall and um, what stands out. They'll, you know, they might get that matchup with Kettle Marine right there. Yeah, and Hartford in, in level one isn't going to be easy. Hartford has had a good amount of success. They're down a little bit this year. Um, finished as one of those bubble teams that got in via tiebreakers. But I think things set up pretty well for Sun Prairie East. Milwaukee King is the top seed there. They were champions of the Milwaukee City Conference. That league has struggled in the playoffs in, in the past. I think Germantown in level one against Milwaukee King could be a tough one. Um, so again, I think Coach Kaminsky has to be pleased with, with where they ended up. Um, and you know, they have a good path, I think, to get to state. All right, well, we didn't hear from them, but they sure looked happy, right? <laughs> so they looked excited, so we appreciate them joining the show. Thank you, Travis, for that breakdown. The Division I bracket reveal is coming up as teams continue to find out their road to Camp Randall. Stay with us.